हे गाइस इफ यू डिंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो आर्टिफिशियल किडनी मे साउंड लाइक समथिंग फ्रॉम साइंस फिक्शन मूवी बट दिस ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग न्यू ट्रीटमेंट आर करेंटली बीइंग डिजाइंड एंड टेस्टेड अक्रॉस द ग्लोब यस साइंटिस्ट आर डेवलपिंग एन आर्टिफिशियल किडनी दैट कैन रेप्लिकेट द वर्क ऑफ किडनीज एंड पोटेंशियली एलिमिनेट द नीड फॉर डायलिसिस एक्चुअली kidney is a main organ in our body which eliminates toxic waste materials and fluids from our body by filtering our blood kidney failure occurs when kidney loses the ability to sufficiently filter waste from blood it can occur because of many factors which interfere with the kidney health and functions such as toxic exposure certain medications and certain acute and chronic diseases and sour dehydration and kidney trauma when kidney is not doing its function properly when kidney failure occurs we'll go for an alternative ways such as uh, kidney transplantation or dialysis what is kidney transplantation it's a surgery of uh, transferring a healthy kidney from a donor to receiver via surgery problem with this surgery is availability only few in the world are getting the healthy kidney at a perfect time and not only that they are supposed to take lifelong immunosuppression drugs the second alternative way is dialysis dialysis is a kind of process where we'll uh, mimic the work of kidneys outside with the big machineries So these machines are a big refrigerator kind of machines which does the work of kidneys it purifies the blood and removes impurities from the blood outside the body it's a cyclic process where the blood will come into the machine from the body purified outside and passes into the body again this procedure has to be done every week to the patient based on his diet so it's uncomfortable to the patient either treatment can replace some lost kidney function and provides prolonged life but each comes with drawbacks so the only solution to this kind of problems is artificial kidney so many researchers are going to develop a artificial kidney in a different ways such as the wearable artificial kidney the bio artificial or cyber implantable kidneys are a laboratory ground living kidneys we'll see one by one how they developed what are the pro- process are to be done to bring this artificial kidneys to the market and when we will get this artificial kidneys in the market the first artificial kidney is the wearable artificial kidney this coffee cup size device would potentially allow a patient to receive dialysis mainly hemodialysis during the day or night this would mean more frequent or continuous removal of wastes and fluids and improved quality of life this wearable artificial kidney model is being developed at the university of washington it weighs about 5 kg and it looks like a toolkit belt with a catheter connecting it to the blood stream it is the only device so far tested in humans in a simple way it's a replacement for dialysis machine which is smaller easy to use and effective there are important technical and safety issues to solve before wearable artificial kidney becomes a reality so we don't expect them to be available in the market soon but it's a very good development hopefully we'll see them soon the second one is the bio artificial or cyborg implantable kidney this is a small surgical implanted device consist of a highly permeable filtration unit and human kidney cells because the device contains live kidney cells and it can theoretically not only filter the blood but also perform other important functions of real kidney 
such as releasing hormones to control bp that's awesome man the best known artificial kidney is being developed by the kidney project team at the university of california san francisco this device consists of super efficient membranes created using silicon nanotechnology will filter toxins from the blood without requiring pumps or electrical power the blood flow will provide enough power for this device the bioreactors in this device contains specially engineered kidney tubule cells which will perform other renal activities such as maintaining water volumes in the blood electrolyte balance and metabolic function the device will work like a normal kidney despite of whatever diet the patient is under safety trials of this device is started followed by human trials of the prototype as early as 2020 since it is kept inside the body permanently it required additional safety trials which are under process so we can expect them in the market very soon last but not least third one laboratory grown living kidneys several researchers around the world are attempting to grow a complete human kidney using kidney cells from embryos stem cells from adults or cloned tissue a team from manchester university is the first in the world to have grown the parts of kidney such as nephron that filter the blood in a laboratory dish using a human stem cells the developed nephron were then implanted into a mouse and were able to filter the animal's blood and produced urine similar to how a normal kidney works this kind of kidney will prevent a rejection of kidney once it is transferred into the host body because these are developed from patient stem cells this research is in the early stage and a lot more work is needed to be done but the ability to grow nephron in the lab is an exciting development so kidney failure is not a big matter anymore we are not so far to see this developed artificial kidneys in the market thanks guys for watching please subscribe and press that notification bell button to see more interesting videos tata bye bye